I'm gonna ask you all about your phone. <laughs> Do you have pictures of this guy? That's like good. Room? Is it real funny? Yeah, does it look good? But it's basically the same. Yeah, and you see the entire room. I'll ask you there. Are you ready? You can put it in between. You can put it in here. It doesn't matter if it's on the phone. Yeah. Then, um, yeah, you guys are set. Do you want us in the room? Probably not. No. No? Okay. Bye. Bye. It's just going to be a conversation. Okay, so did you do you read the inter the introduction, mm -hmm. right? That we're we're just a group of first years. We're doing our uh, uh, project on colors, and we would like to ask you some questions. <laughs> and oh, we're filming you, as you noticed. Um, and I was wondering, how was your day so far? Have you? It was so nice. It was fine. Yeah, like the weather. <laughs> was yeah? You're in a good mood. Or yeah, I'm in a good mood. Nice. And um, we're gonna like start off with some very basic questions. Like, what's your name? My name is Katarina Kat. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old. And where are you from? I'm from Germany, from Leipzig. It's in the east. East of Germany. Yeah. And yeah. um, where have, have you only lived in Germany your entire life? Uh, yeah, I only lived there, and I traveled for like one year throughout like New Zealand and Australia. And then since September two thousand nineteen, I'm living here in Cologne. Nice. And have you? How many places have you have you lived in before? So how many houses or apartments or flats? Mm, well, I've lived in a lot of hostels uh, when I was traveling, mm -hmm. but that wasn't really like a home. No. So just like a stay for a while. Um, so I guess only three so far. So my home, home, then Frascati, and here. And here you've never moved as a child? No, no I haven't. And you, so you didn't live by yourself before Frascati? Sorry? You didn't live by yourself before Frascati? No, I didn't. Uh, and did you have your own room at home? Or yeah. did you share it? You had your own yeah, I had my own room and then later I was moving um, under the attic. So I quite had like, like a little flat with my own bathroom and stuff. But you had your own bathroom? Yeah. And then can you maybe tell me a little bit about how your room, like what the house looked like? Like what was it like? At home? Yeah. Okay, so the house is quite big. We also have a big garden and a beautiful like big tree. Mm -hmm. And then in the house, well, we have this one floor where my mom lives. And then we have one floor where my um, grand-grandmother lived. But then when she died, we renovated it, and now my brother lives there with his girlfriend. Mm. And then in the attic, I moved there. And and they have their own kitchen. All yeah, each it's yeah. Each floor has their like it's a proper flat. And then you would, if you like before you moved here, you would live with your mom downstairs, and yeah. just go to the attic if you wanted to sleep. Or um. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's really that's really cool. I've never heard of that before. That's cool. And. Um, was it like a bright house or the windows? Yeah, or yeah, it was a really bright house. We had like a, we call it winter garden in Germany. It's like a terrace but with glass. Oh uh, yeah. Um, so there was a lot of light, and you could just like see the garden. It's really nice. Nice. And did you have any colors in the house or? Yeah, I guess so, but not like really bright colors, but like more like. You, you did have colors. Yeah, it was of course, quite, yeah. quite bright. My, my, my room was red, partly. Your room was part. Okay, we'll come to that in okay. a bit. Um, so, well, we'll come to that now. What was your room like? <laughs> uh, like how, how did you. Did it have windows? Did yeah. It have colors? Well, because, because it was under the attic, I had like uh, windows in the roof. Like, oh, yeah. Um, and then, but also in the like just norm normally on the wall, um, and I think like a third maybe of my room was was painted red, like a dark red, like maybe this maybe a bit darker, a dark dark red, a dark red. Yeah, but it was yeah yeah it was nice, and the rest was white, but I had like a lot of photos on my like closet and then um, around the place. Well, <laughs> That's cool. And then you have like you said you had not a lot of natural light. Yeah. And then you had the dark red on the walls without the windows or the walls with the windows. Um oh, good question. Well there was 
Oh no, it was more without the windows actually. Like the, you paint it? Yeah, so, I painted it. So you, as a child it was red too? Or no. Um my before I moved there my brother lived there. Mm -hmm. Um and it was more like white, a bit orange. Mm -hmm. um, when he was living there, but then I had to paint all of it again anyway. So I why did you have to paint it again? Uh, because he was a smoker and it was uh, really like okay. smokish. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to paint all of it again, and I painted all of it white again from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then I was like thinking, well, I don't want to have everything white, mm -hmm. so I just painted like one wall and like some. I don't know how it's called, like we call it Balken uh, in German. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Um, and I, I had like two of them, like a pole thingy, and then I also painted them red. So that kind of brought some, yeah, energy in the room. You, yeah, because that's what you're looking for, you're looking for some energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then why did you choose red? Why not? Um, I don't know. Actually, I think I was just um, in the... Uh, in the shop with my mom and we wanted to get paint mm -hmm. and I was just looking at the colors and then suddenly I was like why not red <laughs> I don't know it's just like a very um, spontaneous decision and then once it was on there you didn't regret it no, no. I loved it I, it was really nice and do you like did you notice once you painted it, any difference? Did you feel like you were more, like you were saying, like more energized in the room? Or you were yeah, I think so. I also just felt really comfortable. I know that sometimes red can like make you aggressive or something. I think that's kind mm -hmm. of like the um, description of, of the emotion um, regarding red. But mm -hmm. I think I no, I it was just it was a really warm red, you know, like not not bright that you get like angry or aggressive or confused but it was just really warm and comfortable and mm -hmm. um also energizing i think yeah that's, that's really interesting and then did you have any did you have very neutral uh, objects in your room so yeah like your table and then the yeah everything. yeah i had a wooden table and my bed was kind of like this like blackish mm -hmm. and i also had like a gray dark closet but because I had so much natural light, it was still like really, and like the rest of the walls were white still. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting. Um, and that's so when you were allowed to change your room according to your yeah. wishes. Yeah. And then before you moved into that room, so before with the red walls, you lived, you had a different room. I you? had a yeah, I had a small room um, downstairs where my mom lives, mm -hmm. um, and that was orange. Orange. Yeah, but that was like, I was really, like, I lived, or like, I moved in there when I was like really small mm -hmm. and I, th I don't know, I don't remember anymore what color it had right in the beginning, that, but then when I was like, maybe like seven or something like mm -hmm. that, my, my pen player parents renovated it and they got me, or like, yeah, they got me involved in the decision what color I wanted. And then I ch like it was not um, paint, but like think this tray what they call it. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, um, not like this. Yeah, not not the... paint, but you yeah. Know. I don't know what yeah. it's called, but I agree. Um, <laughs> and that was orange, and it had like little blue flowers everywhere. And you chose so that yourself. I chose it myself. I remember how I was like looking through the catalog, and then my parents were like, oh, how do you like this? How do you like this? And then I chose it from the picture. And then do you remember why you picked orange? Or? I don't know, it felt warm um, and I didn't want to have like a, you know, very girly room with pink or something, mm -hmm. but I also didn't want blue because that's, it can be very cold, mm -hmm. I think. Um, I don't know, I think I just really yeah. liked it on the picture and sure. also like the little flowers, but not too much. Yeah, that was and the flowers were blue, you said? Yeah. Is there any reason you picked blue flowers? or? Oh, that was just on the... That was on the yeah. 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 But it's still, it's really interesting because you must have seen like a lot of pictures and then you yeah, picked probably. that one. Yeah, and probably. It's interesting why you picked that one and yeah. what made you... Made it I different. think, yeah, I think it's just intuition. It's just like, I liked it because it looked nice yeah. in the picture. And then... Um, yeah, just and do you do you do you remember not liking it once you moved out, or do you feel like like the, what, like once you were about to move rooms, did you still like the orange? Um, it is nice, but it is 
bit childish still, childish. you know? And then when I moved out, I remember how I was, you know, I was like six and 17, so mm -hmm. I wanted something else. I wanted, yeah. you know, um, something not with flowers. <laughs> nice. And how is the light in your room? What's it? Uh, I cool? have one big window, um, but it was, I think, not as bright as the up room under the attic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, so, yeah, you were allowed to make changes. That's what we asked. Um, and now, if you move to your next place, Fiscali, how did you feel about the fact that you were not allowed to make any changes? Uh, I felt really intimidated by that because I was like, well, I'm, I have to live here for one year. Mm -hmm. We're like literally supposed to live here for, for one year. Yeah. And then we're not allowed to make changes. I didn't like that. Um, but in the end, I think they didn't care so much. So I was still like putting up posters, even though I don't really know if that was allowed. <laughs> but like, I also put up my tapestry um, because I thought, well, And um, what color was your wall at this time? Uh, dark green. Dark green. Yeah. And they, would, would you have ever picked that color yourself or? Um, I don't know. It was actually really dark. Like my, my room was, Probably, especially because of the wall color, color really dark. That's why I don't think I would have picked it myself. I, I don't, like, I think the green uh, itself is nice, mm -hmm. um, but it just made the room really dark, so I don't think I would have chosen it. But um, I also saw the other units, and none of the colors was like, that, where, where was my like better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> no. Do you feel like it affected you when you lived there? Did you have the green walls? Um, maybe not so much the color, but that it was so dark. So I probably didn't realize it actively, but um, when I think back, I think it was quite dark. And sometimes, because also the upper light wasn't that nice, it was mm -hmm. really bright, so I didn't turn that on a lot, but I ha uh, hung up a lot of um, Christmas lights to make it a bit more light. Yeah, so but you changed the lighting. Yeah, I changed the lighting a bit, at least. But in general, um, it was a bit depressing, to be honest. And what, what, what didn't you like about the lights, the big lights? They were really bright. Like, they're like these um, office lights, you know, the mm -hmm. really bright ones, neon, kind of. And it just makes the room look really ugly and sterile. And somehow, um, yeah, as you're in a hospital or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can imagine. Well, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so you had small lights, Christmas lights. But I you had, didn't yeah. have the, the small standing lights. Well, I, yeah, I had this one normal standing light and then I put up Christmas lights to make it a bit more bright. But I almost never turned on the big one. Yeah, I think. OK. So. Yeah, yeah. OK, um, thank you. And um, so you made changes. So you mentioned the tapestry and yeah. you mentioned the uh, posters yeah did you have any reason for this or did you just no the walls were very naked mm -hmm. so i wanted to put something on there because you feel really weird when like the walls around you are just like white or also the green and there's just nothing on there mm -hmm. i just didn't feel comfortable at all it felt also like in a hospital or something really sterile so i decided to just put something up that made me feel com more comfortable and also like it was my room mm -hmm. because it's way more individual when you do something yourself yeah. with the room. So you think that if even if you had um, a room that had better color, so not the dark green and the sterile lights, mm. you would still think it's really important that you put your yeah, own stuff on totally, there. Yeah, totally, totally, to feel home. And did you have any specific colors in what you put up? Or? Um, well, I have this because I really like the colors. And did it um, remind you of something? Or remind you of something? Or is um, there any reason? No, but I think it's really uh, calming. I don't know, just uh, just also the, the forms and stuff. But I, I actually got it from my mom. Mm -hmm. So maybe it also reminds me um, of my family. But that was not like a conscious decision. No, I no, just because... had it. And I think it's nice, so I put it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. 
Uh, and then the common areas, how do you feel about them? Like the kitchen? And the well, in the end, actually, we made it really nice, I think. Like, my unit was really into making it comfortable at some point. Mm -hmm. So we also put up a tapestry, we put up Christmas lights, we had a <laughs> Christmas tree, um, and a lot of, like, yeah, also, like, posters and paintings and stuff, mm -hmm. just to make it, like, nicer. But then I realized that again when we moved out that it was really naked without. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I moved in I was like, okay, we really need to do something with this place because yeah. otherwise I can't feel at home, I can't feel comfortable in this yeah. um, common room. Because you're also supposed to, to, you know, cook there and eat there and yeah, yeah. study there. So I like to make it, yeah, comfortable. So then what exactly made you feel more comfortable? Like you just had your own stuff around or the maybe colors or the light? Yeah, yeah just that there was like more uh, things there, mm -hmm. you know, that we had, yeah, the Christmas lights definitely because it was also a pretty dark room. Uh, I remember how we struggled sometimes when the mm -hmm. lights turned off so we <laughs> needed to find other stuff. Um, but also we made some paintings as a unit and that was really also connecting us mm -hmm. um, and it was nice to put them up and just have them on the wall and that yeah gave this shared identity nice nice um, so now you've moved into a new place uh, how did you change this room like it's I really like the room it's really beautiful yeah. um, how did you change it um, well, there was some furniture in here already, there was a desk, uh, there was no bed, so I brought my own bed, and um, yeah, I sold some of the furniture which I didn't like, there was a lot of like Ikea stuff here, um, but I, I'm more a fan of like um, rustical or like um, wooden stuff, not so much the like white Ikea furniture, mm -hmm. so that's why I also like sold the desk and there was like a lamp which I didn't like. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also put up stuff, like I have posters, I have the tapestry, I also want to put up pictures, like personal pictures, uh, I didn't develop them yet so that will follow later. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot of plants now which I really like because I feel like that makes it so much better just to have around green you know, some mm -hmm. nature, um, yeah. And what about the windows, How did, because you have... The windows are windows. amazing, like, it's literally, it's the best about the room, because they're so big, they're so, like, they let in so much light. It actually gets also really warm, especially in the evening, because the sun is shining in. Um, that is, like, maybe a disadvantage of it, because mm -hmm. it gets, like, in a sauna in here. Yeah, exactly. But other than this, um, the windows are really, really nice, and especially because it makes the room so bright and light. <laughs> and what's the favorite room you've had so far? Like, this thing, this one? This one, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I also like the room at Home Home, under the attic, but these windows are just topping everything. <laughs> yeah, these windows make the difference. Yeah. I mean, it's probably also the whole feeling to now live with friends and have your own flat, mm -hmm. you know? Because at home you're always like still living with your parents, so even though you can make changes your own and it's your own room and you can, um, yeah, be as creative as you want, it's still, you know, especially when I moved out, I was like, okay, do I have to change it? Do I have to take off the photos? And I didn't have to yet, but I think maybe I have to at some point. Mm -hmm. So. This is just where I feel home now. Yeah. That's probably also why I like it that much. Okay. Yeah. How are, are you planning on painting the walls? Uh, no, I don't think so because we have to, when we move out, we have to paint it white again. So I just think it's too much hassle because I just, I have this, yeah. which is basically A filling up wall. the whole wall. Yeah. And then I'm gonna um, put up photos and stuff. So I don't think it's necessary to paint the walls. Um, and also because the window is basically taking one whole wall, um, I like I only have two white walls left, so I don't feel the need to paint no. it. Okay. okay, that was it for the yeah that was it for the regular question. I have some questions about SketchUp. Have you ever heard of that? Though? No. It's like an online 
two electric and design rooms. So I went ahead and gave it a go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was wondering about your opinion about these rooms. So how would you feel if this was like imagine it's Frascati and imagine this is you can like uh, you can zoom like this, so mm -hmm. moving up and down, and then you can turn around like this. So if you imagine you were walking into Frascati and then mm -hmm. this would be your room, how would you feel? So these are windows? Yeah, these are windows and then So I have two windows. And yeah. And then you have like similar to Frascati. Mm -hmm. And the walls are grey? Uh, no, the, like it's white and then you have the patches so then here you have a yellow patch, a green, um, okay. blue, and then you have the orange spots and then on the other side there's a pink wall but that's white. So the other walls are white. Okay. Um, am I allowed to change stuff or is it just no, about just how I, I want your? Feel. I have three versions and I want your opinion okay. on all of them. Um, well, it's not bad. I kind of like how it's organized with the table here and the couch here and then also like the the walls. I mean, if they're white, I think I would put up stuff and not necessarily the, the patches. I think I would maybe remove them. I don't think that was not possible. It's paint. It's oh, it's painted. painted. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, it's not too bad, but I think it's also not <laughs> well, What do you like about it? Um, I don't know. I think these patches are a bit random. Just <laughs> like so many different colors without any um, structure that just like put on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, and then also a pink wall. I don't know if I would like that because it's just, it's just not my favorite color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I don't, I can't imagine me living in a pink room. Yeah. That's all. So would that make you feel like chaotic or like stressed out all those colors? Or um, do you think it would affect your mood? I think it would be confused a bit just about like how they're like structured on the wall. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would be like a very confu uh, very like um, mood changing or like making me sad or anything, but I, I guess I wouldn't feel the most comfortable I can imagine. Okay. And then what about the room two, this room? Uh, it's similar, but we changed it a little bit. So, how would you feel about this room? So this just has like a yellow and a pink wall? Yeah, so now it's yellow and pink. And the blue. Wall. And a blue wall and a orange, orange patch. Yeah, I still think it's too many colors. Mm -hmm. um, because that's just really... Yeah, I think it's just not calming if you just look around and you have so many colors. Yeah. Uh, in your room, mm. yeah, I guess I would prefer the first one to this one actually. You would. And then if you were to go to the third one, how would you feel about that? So the colors are lighter, so it's a bit harder to see. Mm -hmm. um, but this is... So it's also, this is also yellow? Yeah, it's yellow, but it's like a light yellow. Mm -hmm. And then, this and then that's a light blue and a light uh, and a light red stripe. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like this one the best. It's still a lot of colors. Like it's mm -hmm. still too much for me, but um, especially because it's lighter mm -hmm. and because um, I like the structure more. That this like this wall is big and then there's like this stripe. Yeah. This this wall like the the right one I actually find nice, but the the other one is still just divide it yeah and if you if you were to imagine like living there so for example you would like watch tv and you would mainly see the pink wall or you would watch like how would you feel about that so if you were for example i have uh, pictures so if you would watch tv the main color that you would see is mm -hmm. the pink wall so this color like if you imagine yourself watching tv how would you how do you think it would affect you so this one is not as pink. Um, this is the one that's in the last. Yeah. Um, so I think this one is actually fine because it's just, it looks just like a bit creamy, whitish. So mm -hmm. it's not as pink. I don't think it would affect me as much um, because it's nice and light and not too, um, yeah. 
forward. But uh, it actually looks a bit like grandma style, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. Uh, just um, you know, like little grandma roses or whatever. Mm -hmm. This rosé, old rosé. Uh, so maybe I would. <laughs> my my grandma doesn't have a color like that in her house, but still, I would maybe would exactly. feel like in a like older person's house. Yeah, and would that make you feel like uncomfortable? Well, or? it's not exactly the room that I would imagine living in yeah. but it, as a 20 year old. If, it, it's, if it's a Frescati, for example, like yeah. you, it's just there and you can't really do something about it. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. okay, <laughs> I can't convince you. And if we were to go for the yellow that's mm -hmm. on the other side, what do you think about the yellow? Yeah, it's okay. It's. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's saying nothing. It's just. It's I mean, you would, for example, see it if you were eating or if yeah. you're in your bed. You yeah. probably see it. Yeah, or... it's not. It's not like bothering me, but it's also not. You know, it's just not doing something. Yeah, it's just you know saying nothing. It's yeah. Just... Okay, okay. Well, that's okay. That's mm -hmm. an answer. And then if we, for example, had. This, if you were studying mm -hmm. and this was your background, how would you feel about this? Um, I actually like the color in general, um, this orange thingy. I don't know if I would like to study because I, I think I need more like a neutral color, just like white. I also sometimes get distracted to look out of my window because there's so much to see and so many colors. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I could be, get used to it, but um, I would prefer a more neutral color yeah. to study. But in and general, for I like example the, the light blue. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be better? Or yeah, would it still I, be I, too much? I actually think it would be better to study, but it would also be good to sleep, and I think that was where the bed was. Yeah. So I think that is actually fine. Yeah. Um, but it's baby blue, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so. And yeah. if you were to have like a combination of the two, so you're you're. That's going to be like in the middle. Okay, that would really distract me. Yeah. Yeah, especially like the division and this like line in between, and uh, it's just <laughs> like I wouldn't know how to feel. I would like look in between, like yeah. Yeah, but that's interesting that you're like I don't know how to feel because there's like two colors. Yeah, so exactly. Like, impacts. Like yeah, the the red is a bit more, yeah, distressing or just like more emotional and the blue is a bit very neutral and just mm -hmm. like a bit colder and just like calm and there mm -hmm. but then i would yeah nice okay yeah, that's it that's all I that's all that. thank, thank you. you so much thank you that. Awesome. yeah because like in short the research that we found it really matches your answer because like the red it's like for boring tasks and if you need like some something to get your heart rate going and to feel like more active and alert so then you're so if you were to have the red wall, it's easier to do boring tasks. But if you're easily distracted, it's really annoying yeah. to have like a red wall in front of you, I think. And then the blue is more calming and it helps you like get into the zone yeah. of studying and that's nice. And then the thing, like the pastel colors really help you relax. It's supposed to make you feel like calm and relaxed. <laughs> grandma. And then <laughs> big grandma. Yeah, I was like, do you have like bad memories no. your grandma? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what I was like. Does it make you feel stressed if you have to go to your grandma? I don't know. No, like, no. <laughs> it's just like a bit, you know. Yeah. And then the yellow, it's supposed to, it's also pastel because otherwise it's like too intense. Yeah. Um, and it's supposed to be good for your appetite. And it's supposed to like be good to wake you up and stuff. Okay. So that's, that's the research true, that yeah. we found. Uh, and that's why we picked those colors and that's why we suggested it. Um, 